what we control and what we don't. Some things are in our control, while others are not. We control our opinion, choice, desire, aversion, and, in a word, everything of our own doing. We don't control our body, property, reputation, position, and, in a word, everything not of our own doing. Even more, the things in our control are by nature free, unhindered, and unobstructed, while those not in our control are weak, slavish, can be hindered, and are not our own. Epictetus, Enchiridion, 1.1-2 O'Day, you won't control the external events that happen. Is that scary? A little, but it's balanced with. We see that we can control our opinion about those events. You decide whether they're good or bad. Whether they're fair or unfair. You don't control the situation, but you control what you think about it. See how that works? Every single thing that is outside your control the outside world, other people. Luck, karma, whatever still presents a corresponding area that is in your control. This alone gives us. Plenty to manage, plenty of power. Best of all, an honest understanding of what is within our control provides real clarity about the world, all we have is our own mind. Remember that today when you try to extend your reach outward, that it's much better and more appropriately directed inward. T. January 10th. If I want to be steady. The essence of good is a certain kind of reasoned choice, just as the essence of evil is another kind. What about externals, then? They are only the raw material for our reasoned choice, which finds its own good or evil in working with them. How will it find the good? Not by marveling at the material. For if judgments about the material are straight that makes our choices good, but if those judgments are twisted, our choices turn bad. Epictetus, Discourses, 1.29.13. Estoics seek steadiness, stability, and tranquility traits most of us aspire to but seem to experience only fleetingly. How do they accomplish this elusive goal? How does one embody? Eustathia, the word Orion used to describe this teaching of Epictetus? Well, it's not luck. It's not by eliminating outside influences or running away to quiet and solitude. Instead, it's about filtering the outside world through the straightener of our judgment. That's what our reason can do it can take the crooked, confusing, and overwhelming nature of external events and make them orderly. However, if our judgments are crooked because we don't use reason, then everything that follows will be crooked, and we will lose our ability to steady ourselves in the chaos and rush of life. If you want to be steady, if you want clarity, proper judgment is the best way.